Hello, I'm Paul Merton, and thanks to funding from the National Lottery and any excuse for a birthday celebration, the BFI, the British Film Institute, has allocated over £933 million to support the UK film industry over the past 25 years. Amazing! Spanning 120 years of cinema, the fantastic BFI Player website contains thousands of hours of beautifully preserved films. From the BFI National Archive documenting the history of this great nation, ingeniously called Britain on Film. I'm here to take you through the BFI's top 10 most watched films, films that you've probably never heard of. Milton Keynes and the Area has had over 150,000 views online. Pram Emporium just behind them is obviously a sale on prams. Maybe this is the main reason why people had children in those days, was to get a cheap pram. This clip just goes to show that regardless of what's going on around them, kids will always find ways to play and have fun. Traditional uh, craft of trimming the cauliflower while having a fag at the same time. The man at the back is not wearing a hat, but wishes that he did. Oh, there's a man there on the left who doesn't wear a hat either. Here's a man demanding that he get a hat he hasn't got one. Number six, the illustrious changing face of Camberwell. Oh my, look at that hair. Wow, it looks like the result of a chemical experiment in a laboratory. At number five, the Chichester Tour, which highlights the best features of the city, has had over 375,000 views since 2015. Next up at number four is Aberdeen, shot in 1970. Here you can see an early version of Google Maps. We are now into the top three. Everybody knows that British people used to move a lot quicker in the old days, probably because they weren't staring down at their mobile phones. This hair-raising tram ride through Nottingham shows us why speed limits needed to be introduced. It may not be your traditional Hollywood Christmas film, but it's an important and popular one. With almost two million views, Christmas in Belfast. And finally, number one, with a whopping two and a half million views, London in the 1950s, the decade before it all started swinging. Before DVDs were invented, market traders in Soho would sell counterfeit fruit and vegetables. Those tomatoes are actually painted rocks. If you fancy watching more, possibly to get your money's worth of playing the National Lottery for the last 25 years, then simply search for Britain on Film, where you'll find hours of beautiful footage illustrating the history of this great nation. <laughs>